think. Well, Andre, just a uh, little lapse of concentration there. Look at that first serve percentage from Andre tonight, 81%. He's probably been the worst part of his game in his previous matches. He's been around 50, probably 50% first serves. Tonight, getting it right, 81 first serves, uh, first serve percentage, three aces. So 15 winners in one set, that's fairly impressive. A few unforced errors, but these guys do really go for it. They don't hold back, so you probably will see quite a few unforced errors tonight. This will hurt Muster's ego, though, won't it, if he keeps getting this sort of duffing? Yeah, they're both very proud men and uh, like a couple of boxers, really, so I have to agree with you there. Packed out here tonight at the US Open. Not a seat left in the house. I tried to get some tickets for friends tonight and was told it was sold out a few days ago. Well, even with your connections, Willie. He was my connections was the reason. Semi-finalist, 93, you think they'd be giving you tickets? Oh, well. I'm lucky to get in the gate. Well, that's true. I suppose you're an Australian, aren't you? <laughs> anyway, that's the jokes. Serious stuff out here on Stadium Court. Let's hope that Thomas Muster can hold his serve here. He lost it last time he broke Agassi straight away. That being in the second game of the first set. One love, second set. Well, there, there was a short ball. That gave you a good indication of how far back Muster was. That ball actually bounced twice before it got to him. I realise he was on the defensive, but that's a problem that he's struggling with tonight. Just when you thought Agassi was starting to miss a few balls and mistime them, he comes back and plays a game like this. Three break points to break back straight again. That is the hardest shot in tennis. The high backhand smash, very hard to generate any pace from up there. Andre, not a natural volley, but gee, did he play that well. And oh, just on the evidence of what we've seen so far, I, I don't really know what Thomas can do. They play a similar game. Andre's just 30% better at it. fair to say that maybe Thomas Muster is, is slightly one pace all the time, a lot like maybe Philippoussis was the other night. 
must to the same or not? Does he mix up his speeds well enough? Yeah, well, he does. I, I feel like he mixes it up fairly well. Well, we see Andre missing a short forehand, but it's okay to mix it up, but if you mix up and hit a slow ball and you're 10 or 15 feet behind the baseline, you just give your opponent too much time. You're not really putting pressure on him. You're not sort of imposing yourself or creating any sort of presence on the court. He, he's way too far behind the baseline. Well, there was an indication of that change of play, but Andre, Andre refuses to take it. Well, that brought up three break points, so a little bit of trouble for Andre, but Andre refuses to take a backward step on anything. And Thomas has to get a little bit of that in his game if he's to have a chance here tonight. That's three breaks in a row in this set. Muster 2-1. We asked these motorists why they chose Touchline Motor Insurance. I recently changed over to Touchline and I couldn't believe the money I've saved. Initially I chose Touchline because they were the cheapest. Soon after my policy started I had a hit and run accident. Twelve days after the accident, Touchline had my car fixed and back on the road. The Touchline staff were friendly, helpful and really professional and it certainly is true that the difference between ordinary and extraordinary is that little extra. I wanted an insurance company that wouldn't penalise me for being under the age of 25. Being pensioners, uh, every penny counts and uh, Touchline were the most competitive. I chose Touchline because of their friendly, helpful, efficient service and I could pay by direct debit. We had a total loss claim. Touchline sorted it, no hassle, within three weeks. We'd recommend them to anybody. The Touchline staff are really wonderful. I'm a very satisfied customer. Our friendly approach to motor insurance could save you money. Get in touch with Touchline. Call 0800 207 800 now. 2-1 with a break. Second set. First set, Agassi. Muster had a go at the umpire there about what he thought or alleges was conversations going on between those two. Shows me that he is frustrated here tonight. He is being pushed around. When you're on top of your game, on top of your opponent, you don't worry about things like that. of times he just looked up the court towards Agassi as if to say come on give me a break Missed it. No. Made it. Well, 
Well, Musta complaining to the central umpire, but what can he do about that on the far sideline? No way he can overrule. Musta very unlucky there, received a dead net cord, which he got to. Which was brilliant. Then I feel like he got a bad call. coming through more from exhaustion I think and lack of breath than anything else and that hands the break straight back to Agassi again that's four breaks in a row for two all second set Agassi up to 23 unforced errors tonight. Really has been pressing. wide and it's the first hold of this second set Agassi 3-2 well I, I get the feeling just just looking at Muster that he almost thinks that that everybody the, the crowd the linesman the umpire literally everybody involved in this match tonight is against him he has got a bit of a siege mentality going at the moment I think uh Probably feeling a little bit of pressure. He uh, made a few comments before the match and uh, talked big. Sometimes when they get out there, you've got to back it up, and he's finding it difficult tonight against a very, very good opponent. And uh, I think you're right. I think he's feeling the pressure. And sure, the crowd are on Agassi's side, but uh, maybe he has had one or two tough line calls. But over the course of a match, you probably find they even out. I just think that's a sign of his frustration more than anything he'd love to get in on, on top of this match but he can't find a way to do it Sorry. well muster was out of his chair at least 20 seconds before time was called he wants to get on with this Behind the 